Wherever you go uh, in, in the um, chemical, biochemical field, uh, Brian Sykes' name invariably comes up as uh, one of the strong points of the University of Alberta. Brian personifies the kind of relentless pursuit of excellence which underpins any great university. Originally uh, came to us from Harvard University in 1974 and he was an immense uh, recruit by the University of Alberta at that time. And uh, he has spent a good part of his career exploring uh, the mechanistic aspects of the way in which muscle contracts and relaxes in terms of the proteins that are involved. He's really one of the outstanding people in that area. But now, you know, we're sort of in a phase now where you, if you can see the structure of the calcium binding protein that triggers and regulates contraction in the heart, then you have a target to design drugs. The American Chemical Society uh, Journal Biochemistry has recently done a survey and Brian has been identified as the seventh most prolific contributor to that journal over the past 50 years. Well, he's published close to 500 papers at this point in time. A good number of those are in biochemistry, but not necessarily all of them. They're in other prestigious journals as well, such as Science and Nature. He's been a constant encouragement for me to, to look at what it is that I'm doing, why am I doing it, what, what is exciting about it, what are all of the, the different avenues that I can explore with that material. Um, he, he really pushes you to, to, to stretch your limits. Uh, should we look in the upfield region? Is there a protein in this sample? That there's nothing, there? frankly, that I like more than to come in on a Saturday morning or something when there's nobody around, no phone calls, no uh, emails or whatever, and sit at the spectrometer or sit at the, uh, looking at data with a student. I've had undergraduates that have done phenomenal work in the lab. Uh, determined major structures, published papers. And I think when the history of this institution is written in 500 years' time, he will be one of the giants of this institution. If I were to list some of the highlights of my own career, right up there near the top would be the fact that I recruited Brian Sykes.